Hello watchers and everyone who has joined. Today we are coming back to uh, the Contains Two Disc podcast again using my with my co-host uh, Hybrid Jacob. Hello. And today we have a guest star coming in too called uh, you guys know him on Twitch as Lord Viper but here we call him Dark. Yep, hi. So, to start today off, uh, we're at, to get to know everyone, uh, like, to get to know, uh, like, the people that come in and everything, we're gonna ask Dark, how did you start gaming? Um, like, um, I played on the PS3, my dad's PS3, when I was, like, really young. Like, I'm talking, like, three years old, a long time ago. And yeah. I grew up on, like, uh, what's it called? Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Mortal Kombat 9, stuff like that. Also, Lego Marvel and Skylanders. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Skylanders was a big part of a lot of people's uh, childhood. Yeah, I played, um, Giants. I I've heard of that one, but I've never actually played it. You never played Skylanders, bro? No, I have not. Dude, Skylanders is soul. fun. I know, right? <laughs> I'll have to look I into that one. I like how immediately, um... You know, never mind. Yeah. Uh, another thing that uh, we actually, uh, uh... That I remember, at least, uh, from Skylanders was just... <laughs> The whole fact of Skylanders being, uh, like, one of the biggest things, only for the fact that it was, uh, uh, like, one of the first times that we were out actually able to have, like, figurines and then put them into the game. Yeah, and then there was, like, Disney Infinity, which I played a lot of. I never played Disney and Infinity. Have... Hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah, I so, played it all. Oh, double. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, I never got into Disney Infinity. I should have, but yeah, I had a, I had a lot of the of the figurines for that. Yeah, uh, one that I actually have played a lot was um, Lego Dimensions, and a lot of people did not like it, only for the fact that you couldn't just put whatever character on. You had to buy each thing separately, and each uh, character pack uh, could be its own, like had its own levels and everything and you had to pay extra for all that yeah i never played Damn. lego dimensions like you had to pay extra like you had to pay uh i think 15 bucks for a character like the actual lego minifigure itself a character pack and a vehicle like all yeah. in one little package that came that you basically placed it on it and it would detect see that there was something new there and then, um, you had to build it yourself. Yeah. Which I actually like. Yeah. It was okay, I guess, uh, but there was uh, a lot more to it. I don't know. Yeah. Like, there was just a lot to it. Like. Yeah, I, my friend played LEGO Dimensions. I never. I don't think I've ever even touched that game. Yeah. Okay. Like, it... I don't know. There's a, a lot to uh, things. I don't know. Yeah, I played uh, all three of the Disney Infinities. Like, my favorite one was probably the Star Wars one. Yeah. That one was fun. Star Wars... Uh, I, like I said, I played a bit of it, but I never owned one. And I didn't care to own one. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was, like, so confused. Like, you couldn't use, like, your new figurines with the old game. Because I was just a dumb kid. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know what was happening most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh... Going off of that, like, there was a, a huge, another time where uh, we all, why, like, 
how would I say this? Uh, we all played games and everything to a point where, back in the day, where we actually created clans and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was never a part of any clan. Well, I mean, it's understandable. You were, uh, you're in a younger group than we are. Yeah. I... And that is what I love about gaming is that it literally is <laughs> anyone's game. Yeah. Like anyone can play. Exactly. exactly. Any age range can play. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you can do as much as you want with the, as much as you can. Now, depending on the person, it can be basing off certain shit, uh, going off of uh, what certain people want, certain people play, and everything. Yeah. Like, uh, like I said, uh, clans back in uh, Call of Duty, especially Call of Duty. <laughs> back in the day where we were able to, uh, like just sit there and play games and everything with our clans uh, if someone pissed off someone in the clan there would be a uh, fucking uh what is it there would be clan wars if uh, someone else in in another <laughs> clan pissed them off clan wars mm -hmm. would happen like that is a major thing yeah and most of the time it was usually um amongst uh quick scoping <sighs> mm-hmm like I hell of fun, hell of fun. Yes, trust me, I love. Yeah, uh, the... I loved uh, uh, the whole quick soaping thing. Most people don't get it, and I understand it. But like, if you don't, you need to learn how to quick scope uh, in Call of Duty anymore. Like that is a must-have thing. Yeah. Yeah, the only um, Call of Duty I really played when I was a kid was BO3. But I didn't really play it a lot. Yeah. And again, that's understandable for the fact that it's not a. Uh, you're, like I said, you're in a younger generation group. Yeah, but I was playing Mortal Kombat and stuff. I played the crap out of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, but, w like, me and Jacob here, we uh, grew up on, like, uh, Deadly Alliance, those types of games. Like, those Oblivion. OG games. Oh no, Oblivion was uh, out way after we started gaming. Uh, I'm having horrible luck right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're lucky to me. I've, I've lost, literally went back three spaces, lost a hundred, ended up having to fucking pay watcher fucking 12, and then you were like 24 right now. <laughs> I haven't bought anything yet. <laughs> And again, chat, yes, we are still playing these games uh, while we uh, do the podcast. Yes. <laughs> I feel yeah. like it gets us a bit more interactive with each other. Most definitely. This is still fucking very much bullshit. Stay in jail, you don't get this fucking leave. <laughs> yeah. Like, we... Like I said, we grew up in just different time periods with gaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, me and Jacob uh, highly remember the whole, uh, what is it? Like, we highly remember the whole, um, Call of Duty clan things and everything. We highly remember mm -hmm. everything when it comes to, like, those OG Call of Duties and everything. Like, uh, uh -huh. in my opinion, Ghosts was a big one, and that actually had its own, like, clan system to do that. Like, uh, the clan system was actually, um, what was it? Like, the squads. Like, you, it was, uh, the game mode squads. Where you actually, uh, like, you create your own thing, you level up each character, and the way they did it actually was pretty good. At least in my opinion. I don't know about how other people think and everything about it, but my opinion, yeah, I've never... Ghost was a I've good never... game. I've never played Ghosts. I have a little bit. Uh, I mostly played like the campaign, 
I I couldn't get really into multiplayer for Ghost, but BO2 was more my thing. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. There's yeah. Another um, hundred gone. My favorite was uh, <laughs> my favorite Call of Duty was actually um, Ghost, only for the fact that there was so much uh, to do in it, and a lot of people would kind of don't remember that <laughs> they don't like it for the fact that the maps are way too big and you died really quick mm. for me it was mostly due to like blurry as shit for ghosts yeah but yeah again i like it i can't hey you're visiting dark <laughs> It just all depends on the person, really. Yeah, like, my favorite of, like, the older games is probably Skyrim, because that's, like, probably the only one I've played, really. Well, that's still not really old, old. Yeah. I mean, it's... Old, like, as in, like, still played today, like... Like, some of the older games that haven't been played in years... Yeah. Well, Skyrim's just been around. Everybody loves it. True. There's so much you can do in it. And, it, and then the mods are built into the game, so you can actually like play them on console. Yeah, but I again, it's just depending on the person, really. Personally, I don't really care that much for uh, uh, any of the Elder Scrolls games. But that's just how I grew up. I played with the more fast-paced games and everything. Like Mortal Kombat yeah. and Call of Duty and uh, 007 and all those kind of games. Ooh. I grew up with the whole, like, fast-paced, uh, like, on-your-toes kind of games. Yeah. Which I get. I do, like... I like R6. Well, it's not as fast-paced. But. I mean, R6 is slow-paced, yeah, but there's some pretty fast-paced sections in it. Like, if you're playing with people that rush you, like, immediately, which is kind of annoying, but... <laughs> yeah, but then yeah. again, that's kind of how it's played, so... <laughs> yeah. But no, like, when they play, like, super aggressive... Yeah. I mean, I try and play pretty aggressive uh, sometimes, but I can't do it all the time for the fact that, you know. I'm going to win this game without buying any properties. So apparently that's how it's going for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, there's a lot to that. The old, the newer and older generation of uh, gamers don't understand about each other, and I kind of want to keep it that way. To be completely honest, yeah, because, uh, like I said, there's uh, things that the old generation will not know, and there's things that the new generation can or the there's things that the new generation will not know, and things that the old generation can pick up on. It's just, like I said, it's all just dependent on how they grew up. Yeah. And you can still be a technical new-gen uh, gamer and still not understand. Yeah. Or you can be a technical old-gen, like an old-generation gamer and still not understand the full like, uh comprehension of everything that's going on with gaming yeah i try to keep myself well versed in like modern gaming the best i can anyway yeah sometimes it's difficult because games come out a whole lot faster now yeah mm -hmm. since it's a whole it's way easier to make games now
me out. Just us in general, we've uh, grew up knowing certain things. We've grew grew up uh, understanding different things. Yeah. And it's something that you can't take away from the gamers. Like that is something that we all have in common is that we all love what we love and we cannot get rid of it. Yep. And to be honest, that is what I love about the gaming, uh, the like seeing the old generations coming up uh, and s like gawk at the new, <laughs> at the old gen. Yeah, I feel like I. I can understand old generation gamers pretty well, just because my dad's been playing video games for a long time. Yeah. And I was, I played uh, video games with him, so. Yeah. I will say too, uh, another major thing is, um, about like seeing the differences in like the gaming generations is that uh just how everyone uh, grew up with and everything. I know I keep harking back to the same shit, but... <laughs> hey, yeah, you have been. But it really is true, like, as Jacob just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... I, like, another thing about, like, old generations and everything, I, personally, am only two years older than the original Nintendo DS. Damn. Dang. I've never actually had a DS before. I don't really have... I don't really play Nintendo products except for the old version of, like, Super Nintendo that I have. Yeah. Which I got for my birthday, which has, like, Street Fighter, um, yeah. the old Zelda. Stuff like that. Yeah. They also have Punch-Out, which I still don't get how to play. Okay, well, there was a difference between Punch Out and Super Punch Out. <laughs> I forget Different which mechanics. one it is. The SNES is Super Punch Out. And the NES is Punch Out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's my turn. <laughs> yep. Now, I love Punch-Out, but I played the Wii version, which was a remake of, uh, well, a combination remake of Super Punch-Out and Punch-Out for the NES and the SNES. Yeah. I never fully beat the game, because that game was hard as shit to beat, in my opinion. But, it's still fun to go back to like especially if you have a switch and you have the uh ps uh, or not the ps uh the uh, nintendo switch uh, like online stuff yeah you, it's fun to go back to those games uh, like with the emulators and everything and play those old games like even if you're new to uh, like that genre of or that section of gaming it's still fun to look back at it all. Yeah, I've I played um uh Super Smash Brothers and that's about it on the Nintendo Switch. Which I played on my friend's Switch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I've borrowed which... that game from my brother for the Switch. And it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, um, I played, uh, Sonic. Sonic's that was... a really good one. Yeah, I just like rolling, I just liked rolling around. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Sega, actually. Like, the whole Sega. thing... <laughs> like, the whole thing about <laughs> Sega losing the console war between Nintendo and them... Yeah. ...was insane. Hello! The only real game that Sega really made that was actually popu popular was Sonic. Which is still popular today. Well, the Sega Genesis really hit it off with a lot of people. I, but I never, they just I, couldn't keep it up. They just I couldn't keep up a, with um, uh, uh, Nintendo. Like, it, there was I, no chance in hell that 
uh, Sega was able to keep up with Nintendo. No chance. Yeah, I never played any of the other Sega games. I played like the old Sonic game on my PlayStation 3. Or whatever. Yeah, and I know I've said this in a past, uh, uh in, a, in the past episodes, but Nintendo, people forget that Nintendo is not just a uh, hardware brand. They're also a software brand for the fact that uh, they make the games that they put onto their console. Like Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Mario, mm. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> like, they are not just a, like, hardware brand. And that's what a lot of people forget. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, there's just a lot to do with things. Mm. Like, a lot to say about just Nintendo in general. Like, how far Nintendo has come with their handheld and their console. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, it's insane. Like, just the way that they did it, too, was insane. Like, if you actually, uh, like, look back at how much they've actually done... Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> um, another major thing, too, about that we all... I think that we all remember this is the fact of the matter that... We all grew to liking certain games for how we were raised. Yeah. I like... Go ahead. I like, um... It's also the same thing with, like, older movies and stuff. Like, I grew up, like, with older games and stuff, because my parents are kind of old school. Yeah. Like, I listen to, like, older music, older video game. I play older video games, like... And... Oh... <clears throat> and, um, I just w listen to old-timey stuff, like, you know I mean? mm -hmm. Like, I, I end up uh, kind of uh, liking uh, the stuff only because uh, my mom likes <coughs> it. And, yeah. uh, another thing about that, uh, like that too is, um, the way we grew up uh, listening to this stuff, uh, playing this stuff, and getting uh, certain things uh, was a difficult thing. Because our parents grew up uh, listening to certain things, and that's what led us to uh, certain roads, certain pathways that we, uh, for what we like. Yeah. I grew up with my dad that played um, shooters like Call of, like the older Call of Duty games. He's been playing for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I uh, I grew up playing like Lego Marvel and stuff on my PS3. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Just we all kind of uh, grew. Uh, to liking certain things just because of our parents and to be fair I don't mind it that much because we all love what we love we all like what we do and we will not change I think another I also grew part... up on a lot of like I also watched a lot of Minecraft YouTubers when I was Yeah, that's another thing too Small. about like you how YouTube works too. No, you're good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like we uh, all we right. all watch different things on YouTube. Yeah, like, I, and... when I was a kid 
I uh, watched a lot of like Minecraft YouTube, like Stampy Cat, um, popular MMOs, Dan TDM. Yes. That's like, what I grew up on. That's what I also grew up on too. Yeah. Well, I would say more my uh, like really like middle of where I am now, like grew up at, like middle of what I do now, like. That's how I grew up. It was playing those certain those kind of games, or watching those videos. Like as you uh, stated, was Dan TDM. I didn't watch that much of Dan TDM. I watched more popular MMOs and uh, what's his name? Stampy. Uh, no, not Stampy. Um... It was a. Uh... It wasn't a. Uh... How uh, it wasn't a. How do I say? Was it it wasn't like a, a Minecraft, Minecraft YouTuber, but it was. Like, he did a lot more other content, but he did do a lot more. Uh, Minecraft. Uh, he did a lot. A little less Minecraft, but a lot more. Um. Call of Duty and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, I also grew up on a lot of Minecraft role players. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. I used to be obsessed with those, and I actually just finished watching, um, rewatching an old series that I really liked. Mm -hmm. Um, from a YouTube, from like a small time YouTuber. He isn't big, but. <laughs> he has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. He doesn't upload anymore, sadly. He hasn't uploaded in months, so... Yeah. Like, and going off of those YouTubers and everything, like, Stampy Cat, Popular MMOs... Like, Popular MMOs still uploads, but... Like... I haven't watched that in When Patton, like, go... Like, this is their actual names and everything from... Yeah, they've said it on their channel and everything. Pat and Jen, when their like split happened, they like the uploads for that channel with Minecraft content slowly depend deplenished. Do they even upload Minecraft anymore? Uh, Jen is actually not part of the channel anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Even after they broke up, they played together for a little bit, didn't they? Mm-hmm. And then there was the whole thing with uh, 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 Pat and Elena, which that was no a whole silly thing that, that happened there. I'm not gonna get into I that. I didn't. I didn't even watch it. I heard Pat went to jail at some point, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, like there was a huge thing that happened there that most people. I want. I would say most people kind of uh, don't want to remember, but you know, it's just uh, how things go. We each uh, grow apart from each other, and it's a am it's amazing how. Uh, like, and this is going off of me and Jacob here. It's amazing how long me and Jacob have been friends. <laughs> really? How long have y'all been friends? so fucking zero. Give or take at least up to seven, maybe maybe close to eight years. Yeah. Give Dang. or take. Yep. Yeah, I don't have very, like, many online friends, because for a long time I wasn't allowed to, like, play with people online. You know, like, strangers and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I have a lot more freedom, so I don't have to really worry about that. I mean, I will say, like, people like us are... Uh, are no. Yes, but no. Well, not you. <laughs> not y'all. But, like, people are weird. People, like, gamers are not as bad as everyone says we are. Unless they're, like, yeah, we're gonna curse. Fortnite. 
Yeah, well, yeah, but those are the kids <laughs> that don't understand. I mean, yeah, Actually. and trust me when I say this, gamers curse like sailors. At this point, it cannot nope. be called, uh, like, cursing like a sailor. It's cursing like a gamer at this point. <laughs> Especially if you're that playing on so like true. shooters. I'm not paying you 40. Fuck mm -hmm. off. You have to. <laughs> no. We'll stare at this screen. Well, yeah, just... How we... Uh... It's how people stay friends, especially gamers, like, can stay friends no matter what, even through the differences, through the, uh, like, different, like, thoughts yeah. and feelings of everything. Mm -hmm. Like, we are still going to stay friends uh, until uh, something massively bad happens. Yeah, yeah, I've seen friendships, like, friendships I have... I've had um, in the past of going stale. Yeah. Not stale, more like rotten. And then again, that's all because of uh, like how uh, it uh, came to be. Like, mm. th like real friendship uh, and everything is different than. Uh, a real friendship is different to when it comes to gaming. Like, gamers bring each other together. Well, they can. Well, no, like, it's just, it, that's a fact. Like, gamers will bring each other together. It's how uh, me and Jacob met uh, Smoke through Jerry and Matt. Yeah, I met Smoke, um, through, uh, Voider. Yeah. I don't know, like, we all kind of... Like, there are growing apart, but all in all, I think none of us are gonna really grow apart from each other, like, in this group. Yeah. I actually like playing with y'all. Y'all are actually pretty fun to play with. <laughs> and the thing is, too, is that we don't... We don't take shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we will say it how it is in this group. Like, if something needs to be said, we'll say it. And that's, yeah. uh, like, the most important kind of thing when it comes to uh, gamers. Is that if you're sitting there not saying what needs to be said, and you're just letting shit happen... It's yeah. gonna bite you in the arse. In the arse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I had a friend that, um, we started playing with this other kid uh, that we met on For Honor. And, um, he just started playing with him more and more until he just stopped playing with us, really. Yeah. And then that kid was a piece of garbage, so I just disfriended him. I was sick of being treated mm -hmm. like absolute garbage constantly and being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just didn't play with. I just stopped playing with them. Yeah. And that's a, a sad thing, too, is that we kind of just forcefully give each other, a, like, time to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't know. We, uh, like, I want to, and this is kind of going to be a bit on the nose, but gaming relationships, like uh, friendships and everything, is kind of like a game of Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We'll fuck each other over, uh, like, we put houses on our properties and everything, we will do all that. Yep, just definitely. to see the others uh, our friends reactions yup <laughs> but it's when uh, we put those hotels on that can really ruin that for uh, each other yeah <laughs> and I know that's a weird <laughs> analogy comparing to what we're playing right now for the podcast but it is true <laughs> yeah I'm probably gonna have to get off soon though <clears throat> well then you're gonna have to uh, go bankrupt, uh, so... Well, 
Uh, yeah, you're gonna end up having to go bankrupt then. We're gonna have to go bankrupt. We're gonna split your money or, and your proclaim bankruptcy uh, then. I will in a minute. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what else is there? How about Ubisoft being... How about, wait, no, Microsoft owning everything. Uh, that's a bit of a tough topic to get into. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Because there's so much that can be said there, and so little that can also be said. Yeah, they've gotten close to monopolizing the freaking gaming industry. Yeah, but the thing is that to create a monopoly, uh, what if they're wanting to create a monopoly, they're going to have to uh, make everything that they get Xbox only. Everything. Uh, either that or just, yeah, which they can't really do. They can't make everything. Yeah, like when Mo uh, Microsoft, <laughs> when Microsoft uh, bought Activision here recently, They've even said uh, that they would be losing money if they uh, bought, uh, or if they uh, put all their stuff onto uh, PlayStation, or onto Xbox only. They would be, if, uh, like, especially uh, Call of Duty itself. If they did not put Call of Duty on, if they don't put Call of Duty on PlayStation and uh, when they're funding this new, uh, what is it? If now that they're going to be funding the whole uh, how would I say? A uh, new Nintendo product. Mm. That's going to screw a lot of people over. If they don't like if they don't put that kind of shit over there. Yeah. And to be honest, don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> I don't even use Nintendo products, really. I love Nintendo products, but sometimes it gets to a point where it's just like, you know. And they copyright everybody. <laughs> yeah, but well, no, they actually bit. no, they actually stop doing that that much. Really? I don't, yes. Well, I don't. To be honest, I didn't really care <laughs> anyway. Like, I don't um, really care for the music any either. Uh, if you ever watched any of the older uh, videos and everything for, like, uh, like you, uh, YouTubers playing Nintendo games, yeah, they copyrighted a lot. But yeah, they stopped doing as much for the fact that they realize they can get more people to go and play these games. Like, it's free ad advertisement for them. Yeah. Which I guess sort of makes sense. I mean, it does and doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. Like... We can get into a whole slew here about, uh... Nintendo being kind of scummy with uh, how they play or how they do things, but you know. Yeah. Much do. Anyways. <laughs> um. I don't know. Like, we've all got our own... I guess you can say we got... Our, we all got our own little pods. When it comes to that kind of stuff. You know, like... It's hard to really say. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, Microsoft bought, uh, Ubisoft recently as well. Wait, really? Didn't they? 
Yeah, they bought Ubisoft. I, think, I don't I think know so, how yeah. true that is, actually. I really don't. I don't think it is, because I would have uh, seen that everywhere online. Yeah. Yeah, um, wait, hold on, where's my phone? Oh, wait. Have like, that would have been, like, the biggest thing. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So, the rumor might be confirmed. Mm -hmm. So, at the moment, it's just a... Rumor, Wait, no, this was like two years ago. Uh, this was three rumor. years ago. Never mind. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that rumor came out three years ago. If uh, that was true, then uh, we would have seen a lot about it. They probably ended up getting... I uh, gave up or got refused. Yeah, maybe. You know... Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> there's just a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they bought it. They didn't. Really? I thought they did. I heard something about it. Like, we would have uh, heard a lot more. Like, I don't know, like, we would have heard a lot more uh, buzz about it all. If I'm being completely honest. It wouldn't surprise me if they did, though. I mean, it surprised me for the fact that Ubisoft doesn't... doesn't make that many bad games. I mean, yeah, but still, I, I just don't like the idea of them owning, like, all the games... Oh. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> Jacob <laughs> ended up getting disconnected, uh, so I think that might actually be it for the podcast tonight. It It's a bit of a shorter one, yeah, but can't really uh, do much about it if we're not to, able to fully uh, like get here and be in... Uh, you know, fully intact with each other, I guess. <laughs> that was yeah, we're gonna end podcast tonight, uh, everyone. Sorry for uh, the short uh, podcast and everything, but I think it's I think it's uh, best if uh, we leave it there because we had a lot of good uh, a lot of good talks and everything about that. About what oh, we yeah. really needed to. Yeah, I'm Definitely. gonna get off Monopoly. I'm yeah, probably what gonna get off for is... the But before we fully go, what is everyone's final words to uh, the uh, listeners? Um, I guess I'll be back next time. I mean... Probably not for the fact that it is contains two discs. <laughs> And we don't would... do the same people over and over again. Like last episode, we had OG. Really? Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot about it. I mean, I'll I'll come back in a later episode, I guess. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyways. <laughs> chat, love you guys. People over there on uh, YouTube uh, listening, and if we ever put this out on Spotify, if it comes down to that, love all your faces. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Also, make sure sponsor of the stream chat. Sponsor of the stream chat. Or sponsor of the uh, uh, podcast is W.GG. Use code WatcherXC2 at checkout for 10% off your next order. Think about that.
Love you guys. Keep calm and stay gaming. Yeah.